It is said that the last emperor, Byzantium, had realised that he did not have enough military power to prevent the conquest of Constantinople by the army of Meheb the Conqueror. Shortly before the fall, Paleologos visited Hagia Sophia, where he took Holy Communion. He then said his final goodbyes to his family before going into battle. When the Ottomans invaded the city, some advised Paleologos to flee to save his life. However, testimonies say he insisted on staying and he undoubtedly fought until the bitter end. He was killed in battle, apparently being beheaded by an Ottoman soldier. It is said that Memd Izzi ordered a search for his body, and when it was found, he mourned and buried the remains. However, Paleologos's grave was nowhere to be found in Constantinople. In the years that followed, there were many reports about the place where Constantine must have been buried. However, the reports that his body was buried inside Hagia Sophia cannot be verified. The most likely explanation is that for the first two years after the fall of Constantinople, the Patriarch took refuge in the Temple of the Holy Apostles, which he used as its seat, and the last emperor was buried there. The church, however, was later abandoned by the Christians, with Memdi ordering it to be demolished to make way for the Fateh Mosque. If the bones of Paolodogos were indeed in the Temple of the Holy Apostles, they were most likely lost after its demolition or were perhaps moved to another location. Reports indicate that the remains of the Apostles and members of royal families were placed in two crypts to the right and left of the Church of St. Theodosia, which was later converted into a Muslim mosque called the Ghul Mosque, however not be ascertained in any way at the present time if the bones of the great emperor Constantine Paleologos are indeed there